Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign. We're back in Myth of Empires today and I'm going to teach you how to auto tame horses so you don't have to do any of the mini game stuff or anything like that. Now as a quick side note, we don't know if this has, has an adverse effect on actually taming the horses. We don't know if it has a better chance of getting weaknesses if you do it this way. We don't know if it has a, a better chance if you get perfect while you're actually manually taming them to get better traits or anything like that. There's a lot of work that needs to go into this so just letting you guys know that this could have an adverse effect but it also makes it a lot easier to tame horses and you don't have to do any of the bad stuff like running around trying to find a horse and getting one shot by a tiger in the snow mountains or running around in miasma trying to get a high level horse on the desert and getting heat stroke and dying and getting nom nommed by a crocodile so what you're going to need for this actual auto horse taming maneuver you're going to need some dry fodder. You're going to need some reins. You're going to need a horse out in the wild, preferably near where you're going. You're going to need a stable. Once you put that stable down, you just place it inside of your base. You can run the actual horse over to the base and I'll show you how to do it. So let's get the actual horse fodder out. We're going to throw it over there. And he's, hopefully he doesn't see me. Go and eat that horsey. There we go. So we're going to go over and jump on this horse. Now you're going to jump on it like you would always normally jump on it. Run up behind it. Say hello. This one's actually quite a pretty horse. It's solid white. It's got a big bushy tail, big bushy mane. See what happens. So basically, when you're jumping on this horse, you're going to be running up. Wow, the obedience. My tame is just too damn high. This is going to be a really bad horse. It probably is going to tame before I even get it back. This is bad. But you're going to be using the left and right directions. Now to actually get this done, you do need to unlock a perk in the taming skill line. That allows you to use the directional movement while actually being on the horse so you can use a and d and you can direct the horse in a direction if you didn't know you could do that previously to stop them from running into packs of monsters a crocodile's mouth or a tiger's claws now hopefully i can actually get this to the base before it actually tames so i can actually show it to you so when i get to the base door we're going to continue recording memento so when you get inside of the base you want to run it towards your stable now you could put fences up here with a gate and stuff so they can't run away quickly but you're going to jump off the horse when you get close to the stable you're going to hold heat on the stable put horse in stable and click horse and boom the horse is now inside of your stable now we've got two horses subduing currently and they will do this as time goes across now i've actually had this horse in here subduing for a while so you do just to sort of have it as a test to see if it automatically does it without an npc but it seems as though you actually do need an npc on there to actually subdue them so we're going to go get one of my taming npcs over in the animal pen area now when you get to your npc if you don't know where the taming is it is in the last charisma tab and it's going to be here this is one's currently at 4 30 which is not too bad so let's get him so let's get him out of the rabbit pen by clicking over here release npc with the stairs we're going to get this gentleman to follow us f1 f2 to put that on follow he's going to the fact that mr bigglesworth the big dude here which is one of my tenders i basically name all my npcs after what job they're doing so i've got archers i've got tenders i've got armorers weaponsmiths etc i really wish they would up the limit of how many npcs you can actually have because ten is not very much when you're trying to sort of set a whole base up especially if you're solo or in a really small guild it becomes quite difficult to get everything sorted so once you have your npc near the stable we got our armor have followed us because i clicked follow there needs to be individual commands for each of them it's kind of annoying that when you do the f1 f2 and get them to follow it makes it all of them follow you i'd like to be able to set one to attack one guy and one to attack another guy that sort of thing but i guess that's not how it works so we're gonna go over here we're gonna go so you're gonna hold e you're gonna go to assign warrior to work you're gonna go to tender which is the one i'm using i'm gonna punch my dude in the face by accident we're gonna go to open inventory we're gonna click on the horse we just got over here increasing efficiency of taming and you can actually put more copper in here depending on how many hours you want to do it so if we want to do it for one hour it's gonna cost 23 copper so it'll be that and then it you basically it attaches to the horse and then this guy will now start subduing this horse you'll see it slowly moving there it's going tick 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 he's got quite high taming it's not the highest that you can possibly get but it's, it's semi decent i've had him on that rabbit pen for quite a while and it will start going up and this will actually tame the horse without you doing any of the mini game stuff if you're out in the desert and there's a lot of dangers going on if you're in the miasma if you're down by the cold mountain you can place a stable down anywhere and you can run the horse up there and put them in the stable and they are safe used to get npc on there maybe put a little wooden wall around it so that horse will be tamed and that is basically how you do it now again i want to reiterate that we don't know if this has any negative effect 
effects on the actual horses. You can see both of these horses are gray. It doesn't show any of the information that you have on there. So once they tame, there might be a little bit of a difference. You might get, there might be chance for more weaknesses when you don't do it in the proper way, the way that the, well, I say proper way is, there's not proper way. There's different ways of doing everything. You can throw food down on the floor and actually tame a horse over and over again. Just throw the food down if you feel like that's the way you want to do it. You don't have to jump on their backs. You don't have to bring them to the stable. You can just throw food in front of them and it actually tames them. But anyway, we don't know if it's going to be adding weaknesses. We don't know if it's going to affect the traits. We don't know if it's going to affect the rarity of the horse. Because even when you're using the reins method, where you're jumping on with the lower level reins and then you get kicked off, you think it's going to be a fine horse. That's not always the case. I have got standard and weak horses using that method, even though I was kicked off all the way up to the premium reins the horse ended up being green so that was a bit of a nightmare so anyway we're gonna wait until this horse has fully been tamed and we'll be back in a second and we are back and this horse has now tamed auto tame is the name of this horse from now on we're gonna have a look at his stats let's see if it's any good or not it's only got 2200 it's got 735 speed it's actually a really really bad horse so it is not good now i'm gonna do a lot more testing when it comes to all this stuff now we knew this horse wasn't gonna be great because of how quickly it was actually taming the obedience was going up really high this is the official servers so it is slower than any of the private servers that you've seen floating about. So we're actually going to execute this horse. He's dead. We're going to dismiss this horse. Release horse. Goodbye. So we're going to go back into the actual stable itself. So we're going to go back into the stable itself. We're going to click on the plus symbol. We're going to stick the tamer on there. And we're going to put that on there. We'll put it on there for two hours. And this guy is going to start subduing the next horse. This horse is going to take a hell of a lot longer. Because I ran this horse from a long way away to the base. So this horse should have a much higher rarity rating. So if it does come out at a higher rarity uh, So if it does come out at a higher rarity rating. We'll know that it's okay to do this. But that is all we have for today for how you auto tame horses there's so many mechanics that we're finding out over time so i'm going to do a video for every time i find out a randomly new mechanic that comes out or a mechanic just we haven't previously discovered yet this is why i'm having so much fun with this game there's not much information on it so actually getting in there and being able to work stuff out is really amazing for me and it allows me to make videos to help you guys to learn the game but that's all we have for today remember the link for the wiki is in the actual discord description the link for the official discord is down there the link for my discord is down there if you want to come and join us and ask any questions i have a private server set up so you can come into the discord if you fancy jumping on a pve server with a little bit higher rate i've got something set up if it does require more slots later on if it does start getting some traction and people want to play there then i will upgrade the server but that's all we have for today i want to thank you for watching fly safe and avoid local chats again